My guest tonight is a princess, born to the spotlight. The lineage immaculate, the genes Bollywood gold. She's the fourth generation of India's prime film dynasty, the luminous, hypnotic Kareena Kapoor. Hi, Kareena. Hi. Bebo, how dare you? <laughs> How did you say that? Exactly. Oh, I have to get onto that short mini skirt and look in front of the mirror and then say that. But uh, to be honest, I've been saying that right since I was a child. Say it. Say it once again. Oh, well, okay, I can say that to you as well. <laughs> How dare you? Tumhara koi haq nahi banta. Ki tum itni khubsurat lago. Not fair. <laughs> Oh, I loved you in K3G. I thought you were just amazing. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. How much like Pooh are you in real life? You know, in real life, actually, you, will, you won't believe it if I tell you. Tell me. I'm too simple a girl. I would never dress like her. I would never wear the kind of clothes she wore. I would never put so much makeup on. I would not be bothered if my hair is completely out of place or not. I mean, and I had to play this character, so I don't know how I did it. Stop lying, Bebo. You're just like Pooh. <laughs> In fact, my inspiration was you yourself. I remember watching her. She was standing um, at the Bombay Times party. And I looked at a distance and I entered the party with Manish Malhotra. And I said, you know, she was standing, you know, with her, uh, with her leg really one in front of the other, like model no, stand. God. And she was posing for no one. I don't know why. The cameras weren't <laughs> around her, but yet she was posing. And I said, this one is Poo. And I had just written the character. I just started conceiving Poo. And I said, nobody can play Poo better than her. And she's Poo in real life today. I mean, she says whatever at the drop of the hat and she's just become poo even today. Everybody, her mother complained to me. She says, will you tell her that she is no longer acting in the film anymore <laughs> and the cameras are off and to stop being poo. But what to do? I think I've created a monster. I created you. <laughs> God, I just adore him. So do I. He's just a wonderful person. Yeah. Why was your mom complaining to him? You must have been doing something. That is true because at home I had just become poo. Mm -hmm. I mean... I was like treating everyone like this and you know like talking to my sister this way and I don't care and you know things like that and my mom was like this is not my baby I mean come on <laughs> get out of that get back to Bebo please. So what are you singing it's raining man <laughs> hallelujah. Yeah, getting up in the mornings and completely staring at myself in the mirror and things like that yeah I have. <laughs> and become like that, but now I'm out of it. Well, anyway, K3G is such a smash hit. Karina is a rage. So it almost seems genetically predestined. Yeah, I guess it's because of um, my grandfather's blessings. Yes. You're the fourth generation yeah. of India's first film family. Raj Kapoor's granddaughter. Do you remember him? Of course. Definitely, I do. But I have to be very honest. Huh. He loved my sister much more than he loved You've me. You've always complained about that. <laughs> Why do you say that? I think my sister has the blue eyes that he had. And uh, at least what I can remember, she used to get all the presents and all the chocolates. And he used to love mangoes. And he used to store them in his fridge, I remember. And no one was allowed to go to his room except for Lolo and eat all the mangoes. Mm. And I was always left out and mm. never got even one. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> No, but I think that was because she was older and he could communicate with her. I would think I was very young, that you know, very it. small. But you loved him a lot. Of course I did. Of course. Shall I show you something? Shall I show you a surprise? Oh, God. It's from a film that I shot. Yeah? Long ago. Oh, God! It's me! Thank you, Baba. Thank you, darling. Oh, my love. Oh, my darling. What will happen to Thank you. How did you get this? Huh? You should do. I did you put you Baba. I said to her. Do you do? Do you do? Do you do? Kissing him all the time. All the time. All the time. But he does. Oh, I'm feeling left out now. Come here. 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 Come
One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> my pretty girl, my pretty girl. Shima, Kadi, you have me look beautiful present. Karina ka present ka hai. Karina ka present ka hai. Hey, go look. Chala, acha kapra pen. Aur kapra na. Aur kapra, dusra wala pen kya? Acha wala pen kya? Oh God. Acha pen hai. Kya bolo? दादा बोलता है अच्छा कपड़ा पहन के जाओ बोलो सब लोग कमांड जाओ थैंक यू लेट्स चिंटू सन या ओ सो आई यू दिस इज दिस इज द बेस्ट मोमेंट ऑफ माय लाइफ आई कैन आई हैव लाइक लिटरली आई हैव टीयर्स इन माय आईज माय गॉड इट्स ऑसम हाउ डिड यू डू दिस It's beautiful. It's beautiful, my God! I'm so touched. No. <laughs> well, you look so adorable, and I never—I remember at that time I could never take my eyes off you. So beautiful, even no. now you're so beautiful. This is wonderful. But now I have proof that he loved me as well. See? <laughs> <laughs> But I—I I have one regret that um, I wish he was still alive because. Yeah. He would be the one filmmaker that I would just do anything to work. And he wouldn't look at anybody else. Nobody else would have a chance <laughs> in an R.K. <laughs> film. But it wasn't long after this that you decided that you wanted to become an actress. Yeah, I think so. I I always used to hover around, you know, with all the film stars and, you know, like watch shootings and yeah. things like that. So literally, around the age of four or five, you decided you wanted to be wanted to be an actress. Yeah, I mean. It was like this kind of feeling that he passed on to me. That you know, the girls never were, you know, going to be actresses and yes. things like that. But he always blessed me and my sister, okay. saying that we would be actresses. And it happened. And of course, and we made him completely proud. But I remember uh, around this time, uh, I used to ring up your house sometimes, and to speak to your parents. And you would pick up the phone. Little baby would pick up the phone, and you'd keep talking. Yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't. but give the phone to anybody and then i'd say who's speaking and you wouldn't say i'm bebo or i'm karina you would say i'm charisma's sister and i'm going to be a movie star <laughs> <laughs> yeah i know i did tell you i i remember even when i was like even as i was older like 9 and 10 mm. i used to tell people that hi i'm a movie star and i'm going to be an actress one day i was like that So then you started your journey. Yeah. You started accompanying your sister on sets. My sister gave her first shot, which was in Hyderabad for Prem Kedi, T. Ramanaidu, and I was there when she's still shooting for her latest film with Mr. Sunil Darshan and Indra really? Kumar. I still go on her shooting. It's been ten years, but um, it's like I have literally grown with her. You know, like mm. from her first shot, how she used to be, how she used to look. How she then molded and changed herself. Mm. I was part of it. I have yeah. seen that take place. Mm. I am a very lucky girl, yeah. and I will not deny that because I have observed her completely from day one, from right from her first shot. But I believe that you used to also mug up her lines and give her her cues. Oh, of course. There was a very funny incident which I did. It was in Madras in AVM Studios, mm. and uh, my sister was wearing a blue sari. And um, after the shot, she took it off. After pack up, I was right in front. There was this huge mirror. I told my sister's hairdresser, I "Said put on the sari." So I put on the sari. She was wearing a wig. I put on the wig. Told her makeup guy, "Do my little bit of makeup." And I stood in front of the mirror, and my mom was there. <gasps> Still remember, I had this very horrible fringe, and I used to look really <laughs> bad. And uh, I had that fringe, and my mother was so excited. She called the production still guy, and she told the still guy to click pictures, and she still has those pictures. Oh, she was so excited that you know. I was showing so much of interest in being and wanting to be an actress. Really, that's a nice story. <laughs> so, does that mean that you used to bunk school all the time? <laughs> all the time. Mom didn't mind. Mm, Bet no, because my mom, my mom would do anything as long as she's getting time to spend with both her children. That's yes. the best thing that she wants. Yeah. She's been preparing since a while. She knew that both her girls would be actresses. Yeah. So, I mean, sitting there, what did you learn? Everything. from behavior professionalism in front of the camera off camera everything you had a free Absolutely. training period yeah exactly i've been very lucky i believe you used to wear your mom's nighty <laughs> and you used to do sri devi numbers oh god yes and my mom used to be with a video camera 
standing and I remember I used to be dancing to it. Which one? All, all her um, old songs. Uh, in fact, um, there was this other song that that she done, um, ice cream khaoge, some <laughs> song like that she had done. I don't know. With I think uh, Jitendra ji was there in it. Then there was Aap Jaisa Koi. Yeah. Meri Zindagi Mein Aaye. All those kind of songs and. It's to try and be like, you know, all those olden days heroines and my mom used to be with the video camera like, oh no, look right, look left. <laughs> and the Madhuri Chhatkas? Of course, Madhuri uh, Sri Devi from Mr. India, that song I Love You from Mr. India. That was my, my sister's my favorite song. Okay. It was like, it was like the dream song ever. And of course, Madhuri is all her songs. Most of them, we used to study them and watch and, you know, <laughs> try and pick out expressions from there and try and do them in our own little way. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> what fun! <laughs> it was, yeah, so all that was training. Did you see yourself in your fantasies as a heroine? For me, life is a drama. For me, I am a heroine on, off screen. I'm, I'm, I'm always behaving like a heroine. I'm always like that. Everything in life is like that. It's because I've grown up in that atmosphere, you know. So I've always been like a bit, <laughs> you know, feeling that, yeah, I'm an actress. Even off screen also, I'm <laughs> doing my drama. That's mm -hmm. what everyone says also. That I guess, that's me. She has a star aura. She has a star persona. There's nothing, you can't take that away from her. You want to watch her. There's a scene in the film with Shah Rukh and Ritik talking to each other. And the two brothers have met after eight years. And there's a kind of an interaction. And she's in the middle doing nothing. And I find myself looking only at her. She has two of the biggest stars in the country, left and right of frame, and she's there in the center, and you're looking at her. And that's when I realized that she's a big star. Because if she can make you not watch Shah Rukh Khan, not watch Hrithik Roshan, and look at her, that means she's a huge, huge star. I love Karan. With God, I mean, Karan is really, he's spoken so well. I want to thank him for that. This is just for the camera, but actually, when I meet him, I'll be doing the worst thing. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I was talking about, um, there's a six year difference between you and Lolo, mm -hmm. but you're both very different. She's introverted, she will, she knows what to speak, she mm. knows everything. Like before I was coming on this show, oh. <laughs> she has repeatedly, she kept me awake till 4.30 in the morning yesterday, please speak properly, don't be yourself, please speak properly, even right now she must be like, God I don't know what she's saying out there, <laughs> you know, she's always firing me for being the... Spitfire that I But am. I like your honesty and directness. I don't care about anything or anyone. So she's more cautious and programmed. Yeah, yeah in that absolutely. Sense. She's a bit more. These days she's becoming a very protective about me. She's constantly badgering me with calls every one as to what you're doing, who you're going, who are you talking, who are you doing, <laughs> what you're doing, who you're going out with constantly. Nowadays. <laughs> but she's my strength. I'm sure. She's inside me constantly. You know, looking after me like that. I can't imagine my life without her. But when you were little kids, did you fight a lot? A lot. <laughs> we still fight a lot. She hates it when I wear her jeans. Because oh. I've got big hips and she's so proper. <laughs> <laughs> so she keeps firing me all the time. We keep fighting. But my sister loves me and she'd do anything to see me happy. Because I also have a sister who's very, very close to me and exactly. I understand it perfectly. So when people say, ah, oh, there must be sibling rivalry, there's no question mm, about it. Never. There could never be anything of that sort. But when your parents decided to live separately, did it upset you? Not at all because, I mean, uh, three of us do live together. But we've chosen it this way, we're very happy. It's not that, that there's any kind of a thing, you know. Never. So we're all three independent women doing our own thing. My mom is, um, she's a wonder woman. She can take on the world. She can take on anybody on this planet okay. and she would come out a winner. Uh, so, I mean, do you go to your father for advice? No, I think with a mother like that, nobody is ever going to go anywhere else for advice. Well, well that's what he says. Exactly. With, um, I mean, my mother has made this whole empire by herself. Her only two daughters, mm. Raj Kapoor's granddaughters, are keeping his name alive. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely that's woman's decision. No. So. I don't think I need to go anywhere else for advice. But in what ways are you like a Kapoor? Food. Food. And humor. And sense of humor. Your yeah. sense of humor is very much like your father's. Yeah. I hope I don't pick up anything else because they have the tendency of putting on weight. And <laughs> oh my God. I don't want to be a typical Kapoor in that way. No way.
Despite being a Kapoor, Lolo has always said that she's had to go through a lot of struggle and trials. How come, I mean, with the RK name behind her, why, why was it hard for her? Um, I think because there was never really anyone who supported her in this decision because my grandfather passed away. Oh. You know? uh, there was no one who really supported her mm. and thought that she would be able to make it light-eyed, Kapoor girl, coming from such a family would ever be an actress. I think the only one who supported her and who inspired her to do it was my mother. Oh, Because I have literally seen the two of them struggle from pillar to post. Why do you, you say know? struggle? This is what I can't understand. Why, why was there a struggle? I have seen my sister sit up for nights together with my mother and cry. Why? Saying that people are putting her down and she would never make it. And I would like hide behind and watch because they would never want me to see the pain that they were going through. I've seen too much. You're 21 years old. Yeah. How can you say you've seen too much? As a child, I've seen a lot with uh, my mother, with my sister. I have lived their lives with them, you know. I have gone through their traumas, to their thing. I've seen my sister cry for nights together to go to sleep when she was struggling. And uh, that hurts me. Anything that hurts my loved ones hurts me. You're carrying it all with you, Babu. Yeah, that's what makes me the person I am. Strong, confident. That's what makes me. I've lived, picked up things, learned things from them. And bundled them up into this package of Babu. But watching her go through all that, it didn't uh, dissuade you from entering films? Not at all. It made me so strong. I mean, if I may say so, I feel like a guy, I feel like a man. I can take up anything. I can take on anything in the world. Any amount of pain, any amount of... Any amount of people trying to put me down and I would fight that. Because I've seen my mother, I've seen my sister go through that struggle. And I'm, I'm ready for that struggle. So just when we thought that Babu's grown up now and she's going to follow in Lolo's footsteps, Madam here changed her mind and decided she wanted to become a lawyer. Oh. Why? No, I went through that phase, yes. <laughs> How of come? Course I, did. I went to government law college. I sat on those desks and my family was very upset. They were like, How can you go to a college and do this? And, you know, I used to go and mm. it was like, I was like behaving like a normal girl, you know? Yes. Then. Obviously, I got bored of it. I'm it required sure. too much of hard work. <laughs> and then you further shocked everybody by taking off for Harvard. Honestly, Harvard was just like to go and have a good time and have a blast. That's it. But you did all the arrangements, everything on your own, the applications, the yeah. forms. Because I, I, my, my, obviously, my mom and my sister would never allow me to go abroad to America, live alone there for three months. Mm. I mean, I don't know how I convinced them, but I did. And um, even when I was, of course, I filled in all my forms. I gave in an interview and I passed the interview, which everyone had to give to go to yes. Harvard because not everyone gets in. Yeah. And I remember when I was doing all this, my mom was like, God, no, I don't want you to go. I don't want you to go alone, girl, this, yeah. that, everything. And every day when I called her from there, of course, she was so happy for me. Yeah. But my mother and sister just kept crying. But what was it like there in Harvard? What, what did you go and study? I studied uh, microcomputers and information technology. Really? But so are you a computer geek or something? Absolutely not. I Abs hate the computer. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm saying this, but I, I don't like the computer. It's, I mean, what, it's very boring getting on the computer, surfing the net, checking all these kind of things. I went over there because I studied like uh, programming and things like that. But that's, that's yeah, tough stuff. That Come is on. tough stuff. I thought it would be party. I used to sit up till 4 o'clock in the morning in the library trying to get my assignments done. So I've done all that. But it's so strange. I made my parents buy me a computer, but never, never touch it, it now. Never touch it, never touch it. Okay. Don't know where it is also. You know, you're going to Harvard for the Kapoor's. 
was in fact bigger than your winning an Oscar. Oh God, <laughs> it was it was the biggest thing ever. Everyone was reacting in the family that oh God, my niece, my this, my dad has gone to Harvard. <laughs> Kapoor girl, no brains has gone to Harvard. They all overreacted. No one could believe it that I got into Harvard. I think they all celebrated. Absolutely. I mean, yeah. nothing impressed them. Because everyone, if I may say so, failed in the eighth class and in the tenth class repeatedly. So. I didn't want to say that, but it's true. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I'm honest enough to say that. And then your father and your uncle Chimpu arrived in Harvard to meet you. Yeah, they did. They, they, my father visited me over there for a holiday. Of course, when they came back, they told everybody, we are Harvard returned. Yeah. We are Harvard returned. I remember my sister also, she was like, get me a Harvard jacket. She used to call me everybody with Harvard University written on it. So when I go for shooting, I can show that my sister has been to Harvard. I was like, that's so cheap. But yeah. I am glad you enjoyed this last little bit of freedom because by yeah. the, while you were there, all the producers were lining up here to get you into films. Yeah. And this was the time, I think, when uh, Rakesh Roshan came uh, for Kahuna Hai. You're right. He said when you heard the story, you just jumped and you said, yeah. I've got to do it. Yeah. Was it your instinct that told you that it, this is a, going to be a smash hit? No, it was nothing like that. It was just an inclination to wanting to do films. Yeah. I just wanted to just come in front of the camera. That film didn't work out yeah. for various reasons. Do you have any regrets about it? Not at all. Not at all. Truly, truly, truly. No, no. Tell me truly. There was nothing. Sometimes things are just not meant to be. But the best part is that I was supposed to work with Rithik mm. in my first film. And now I have most of my films with him. Yeah. And um, we all are such great friends now that... It's wonderful. Yeah. It's just so it's just, it's a circle of life, mm. and that's the way it's supposed to be. Mm. Destiny is what I believe in. Absolutely. So for a little while more, Babu had to wait. The audiences had to wait <laughs> for Karina Kapoor to ascend the silver screen. But that's another story, <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah.